we are listening to Raphael's final act from Baldur's Gate 3. I feel like it's time to really analyze it and take a look at it, but it definitely reminds me of old Disney tunes, but like in a really f sort of way. So here we go. Life's all mortal lives expire. So that's really cool. We have basically an acapella intro. Lives, oh mortal lives. So what are we doing there? Lives, da 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 da. Going down in the scale. Expire. Going lower. And it's all like, obviously, to cause fear and tension, right? And to make us feel like, oh, we are actually in the presence of the devil himself. Now, I haven't gotten this far in Baldur's Gate 3, so Maybe keep your spoiler discussion a little light in the comments, but I also don't want to stop you from sharing in your excitement. Raphael's a very cool character. But so uh, it, it's just very interesting how we start with this. Souls go to their dooms in flame forevermore. And that's fun because this is essentially like the Greek chorus like in an opera or in a whatever like a greek chorus is a group of people that are usually giving the audience the 4d view of the situation right so a greek chorus is going to explain what's happening the people on stage don't see this experience happening it's only for the audience and so it makes sense that you know the singer is mm, lives all mortal lives expire da, 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 da. and they get that big organ and we know that the organ is synonymous in many many cases in video game music especially as not being for god but being in this case literally for the devil and this is exactly the correct example there's another example in act three of faust that i recommend you check out if you're into the possibility of liking opera but uh, in the act three of faust mephisto is at the church and Margarita's saying, oh, please, you know, pray for me. And the devil says, no, you're not going to be prayed for in French, obviously. And, uh, and it's really fascinating because we use the organ. In that case, we're literally in a church. And uh, it's, it's funny how this, Borislav did a great job of marrying that idea of the organ not being religious, even though that is in day-to-day -day life, where we would hear the organ. It's fun. A recap. <laughs> you know where else we hear a chorus? In church. Hell, hell. Hell has its laws. Hell, hell. Effect in the cause. Curtain falls, but hold your applause. Squirm, squirm. For now, down here come the claws. I just love this so much. <laughs> so, so, like. <laughs> What's so cool about this is the over-articulation. Hell, hell, it all has its claws. It's very Tim Burton-y. It's very Nightmare Before Christmas. It's very over-articulation is so effective at telling and, and highlighting intention. And so here. Hell, hell, hell has its law. You hear how Raphael says, hell, hell. Hell, it all has its laws. We repeat the word hell three times, but every time it's slightly different in pitch, which is a little subtle thing, but it's worth pointing out that imagine if it was just like hell, hell, hell. It all has its laws. It wouldn't nearly be as effective as what we get, which is hell, hell, hell has its laws. So it goes hell, hell, hell has its laws, which is much more like, ooh, playful. Hell. Effect in the cause, curtain falls, but hold your applause. Squirm, squirm, for now down here come the claw. 
And there too, for now down here come the claws. That's very, very smart use of vocalism, which is, you know, essentially this is what we would call a Sprechstimme, uh, which is a German word for essentially uh, speaking pitches. So instead of going, hell, hell, it all has its claws, hell, hell, it all has its claws. We're not doing that. We're, we're speaking, intoning, hell, hell, it all has its claws, intoning on certain pitches, which may, is really extremely effective. Do you hear the desperation in there too? It's so cool. Listen to the way that the organ goes. Listen. The stakes get higher and higher. Here too we have this recap of what we heard at the very beginning but now we're doubled with in a big way with these big brass instruments and the singer it's very emphasized there's a lot more volume there's a lot more body behind that to let you know as a listener like shit's bad now fools fools how hard you have fought brave brave but it's all been for naught True souls that couldn't be bought, doomed, detected, and caught. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to tell you how evil that sounds. That's so satisfying. No more deals. It's over. The final act. You're due. No more grace. It's over. This house of hope. That's also really satisfying because we essentially get a little bit of that main theme from Baldur's Gate 3, just a tiny bit there at the end. But also the way that, jump, you know, it's just so, it's really fun. No more deals, it's over. The final, final act is two. two. No more grace, it's over. This house of hope. It's just like such a music. <laughs> this is so fun. And then listen to the way that the soprano here carries over, which actually builds a little bit of that feeling of intensity. <laughs> I mean, what's not to love? This is great. I can't wait to hear this in game. I bet you it's extremely cool. Uh, I hope you, uh, you know, are into this. There's a lot more Boulder's Gate three to come on the channel for surezies. Why did I say for surezies? Because this made me excited, and I don't know why. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, check out the links in the about section if you want to support the channel. And as always, thanks a ton, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya. Bye.